want to be wise, but I don't know how. Let's find out if AI can make me wiser. The first AI mastermind I asked is called GPT-2 Medium. It's a beautiful name. I said to GPT-2 Medium, the secret to wisdom is... It pondered for a few hundred milliseconds and gifted us this extraordinary piece of wisdom. The secret to wisdom is to be aware of your own limitations and to be willing to accept them. And when I asked, what is love? GPT-2 Medium said confidently, love is the highest form of existence and the most powerful force in the universe. You can try this yourself easily using the GPT-2 Online Explorer developed by the Allen Institute at this address. This model, having considered the words you have provided, gives you 10 options for the most likely next word. By choosing a word at each step, you and GPT-2 will jointly discover new wisdom and you will be wiser. And the wonder doesn't stop here. GPT-2 Medium is not only good at generating wisdom, it masters everything from examining your love life to the soul-destroying task of writing legal documents. Look at this. If you tell GPT-2 Medium that I think you're lovely is a positive statement, it will tell you with 71% confidence that I hate you is a negative statement. And if you're too lazy to read something, GPT-2 Medium can read it and answer your questions or even summarize it for you. So who is the mastermind GPT-2 Medium? Well, it is a dumbed down version of GPT-2 Large. GPT-2, small, medium and large are neural language models developed by OpenAI. We will get into what neural language models are in the next episode. In the past two years, several models have emerged and have taken the world of natural language processing by storm. You probably have heard of several of these superheroes. Elmo, Bird, Ernie, Excelnet, Roberta, and of course, GPT-2. They perform so much better than their predecessors, such as Wurtovec and Glove, that many people feel these models have marked the beginning of a new era. We have just seen some of the skills of GPT-2 Medium. What powers do the other superheroes possess? Well, BERT and Excelnet perform as well as or even better than humans in multiple language tasks. Look at this. When Excelnet and BERT competed with humans in a reading comprehension task, where you read a paragraph and answer questions about it, the AI models outperformed humans by several points. That's right, a human will have been learning a language for a few decades, and yet these models that have been learning it for a few days do better. If you are like me, at this point you would have two burning questions. What's the difference between these models and how can we use them? In the next few minutes, we will see how to quickly use GPT-2 and Excelnet for generation. Now let's generate more wisdom. By this time, we will use an awesome library called PyTorch Transformers by Hugging Face. With this library, we can compare different transformer language models, and instead of having to click for the next word, we can generate a large chunk of text at once. Create a new Python 3 notebook in Google Colab and make sure you have selected GPU for your hardware. Install the library. The PyTorch Transformers GitHub repo has several example files and we will use rungeneration.py 
Let's clone it. Let's get some quotes to show our models. I found this collection on GitHub, but feel free to use your own favorites. Let's load the data and take a look. Personally, I prefer short and punchy quotes, so let's filter for those. I've selected quotes that are shorter than 80 characters, but longer than 20. Now we will do some formatting on these short chords. We will drop the author's names and put the genre before the chord, so that if we want our models to generate a chord in a specific genre, we can prompt it with that category. I will concatenate these chords into a continuous long line. Let's write it to a file and download it so that we can open it with our favorite text editor and copy parts of it to feed to our models. Now we can generate. First, let's take a look at the parameters for rungeneration.py. Let's generate some chords using GPT-2. Here we use three parameters. Model type, which is the group of models we want to use, for example, GTP2 or XLNet. Length, which is how long we want the generated text to be. And model name or path, which refers to a specific model. We'll use GTP2 median.
Let's copy some wisdom quotes about age to use as the prompt. The model will read it and generate a continuation. GTP2 has written us some wisdom. All of these seem fairly fluent. Some are slightly boring, some are intriguing. Look at this one. They who are fond of hissing are like saps who drink too much milk. What does that mean? Now let's compare it with XLNet. We'll add one extra parameter, padding text. This is used specifically for Transformer Excel and ExcelNet to help with short prompts. We'll just copy some of our quotes. My first impression is that, out of the box, Excel net wisdom is slightly less impressive than GTP2. Young women must go through a lot of difficulties for a woman to become old. Hmm. What wisdom did you generate? Please share in the comments. I'd love to see them. I hope you have enjoyed reading the work of these two new authors. In the next episode, We'll talk more about language modeling and we'll dissect and compare these models. See you soon.